I had to turn it off and turn it on again. Before I show you the artwork we're going to paint today, I want to show you the Scarlet Nymph colors for the season. I'll show you Maybon first. These are insanely sparkly. Let's get the autofocus staff in here. And when we originally designed this palette, I designed it because I wanted to have green and purple grapes in my artwork for Maybon. So that's why there's a lot of purples and reds and green in there. But my artwork today is going to do a little bit more with the Litha colors. So I wanted to show you the Litha palette. Even though it's not the holiday that I'm doing artwork for, these colors are going to work a little bit better with what I'm doing because I'm going to have some pumpkins and some autumn leaves. So I wanted to show you this palette as well. So this is Litha and this is, this is Maybon. So, and the, and the business is Scarlet Nymph. There's a discount code in the description, not sponsored, just a friend of mine. And now that you've seen the beautiful ones, and you can see how they, they arrive with these beautiful stampings on them and everything. And it looks like you get, let me see, eight, uh, 12, 12 uh, pans. Now I'm gonna pull out my ones that are used because I don't wanna dip into those beautiful, those beautiful pans I just showed you, so. These are the exact same thing. It's just that they're well loved and well used. I like to take a, a spray bottle and really give them a, a good dousing. And I won't use these until the end of the project. So I'll just set them aside over here. better put the lids on or else they're not they're gonna dry up so fast in the heat we're having it is 91 today feels like a hundred everybody's here during my my issues that I had with the technology it looks like Aaron's here Kelly Wendy George is here. Hi. Maha, Raven, Jill is here. Hi, I got your letter. I'm writing you a letter back, but I just trying to find the time. So we're going to do a fox, a squirrel looking for nuts. He's looking behind the pumpkin, but the nuts are in front of the pumpkin. So that's kind of maybe why the crow thinks he's kind of dumb. We have a crow and we have a little snail. And we have uh, a tree with some fall leaves. And I was thinking we would do a, a pale blue background because I, I just didn't want to leave it completely. Um, I didn't want to leave it completely blank, but it's going to be super pale. Oh, I want to show you this other thing. I forgot. So you know how you can get these acrylic pencil holders for your desk? I thought this was a great idea for paint water. Is that you use the big one to rinse off your brush and then you use the small one to do the second rinse. This little acrylic pencil holder. They always have a little bit more of a clean one. I'm 
just want to get a little bit of a background blue. It's not going to be full coverage. It's just going to be enough to hint at a blue sky. And while it's still damp, I'm going to pull up some of this, some of this color. Red Lorraine says, I love that water holder because you would never accidentally drink from that. I hadn't thought of that, but yes, that's exactly what I was planning when I showed it to you guys. That's a very good point, though. If you use a regular mug, like a coffee mug, as your water, there's a good chance. Eventually, it's going to happen. So I hope this looks like a windy day because the leaves are kind of flying off the tree, the last of the leaves. I'm trying to get a scent, give a sense that it's there's some movement of clouds or air. Oh no, I ran out of blue. So I know you guys are going to think I sound like a broken record because I'm so excited about planning a art witch retreat for next year. And I know it's awfully early to be talking about it, but the planning is in full force. And I think I may have found a location and I'm going to go out there in a few months and check it out and make sure it's good. Take some pictures, take some footage. It's been an emotional roller coaster because so far I have found three different places and each one of them has had good points and bad points, but I get attached to one and then something falls through. So I think, I think I'm just going to pull the trigger on one that I want to visit and book the place and just see how it goes. Okay, there's my background.
Kelly says, I have definitely done that before. My water holder and drink glass are both mason jars. <laughs> I had a close call once, but thankfully didn't swallow. <laughs> Red Lorraine says, I almost drink the paint water like once a week. So this is how you do it. I got my coffee and you can't even put, you can't even put a paintbrush in it. Safe. The retreat will be October, 2023. We are thinking about mid October because I feel like Samhain is, witches are busy. They've already got plans for Samhain. So I'm just going to think maybe the week before or the two weeks before Samhain. So start making your plans. And it would be a midweek. It would be three nights. So um, it would not be a weekend, so it would, it would actually be um, maybe a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, then check out Friday kind of a thing. Okay, we're back. I start thinking about this retreat, and I forget that I'm trying to be painting a picture here. I forgot to go through and make my lines lighter with a little bit of a, a little bit of a, an eraser here. So I'm going to try and do that now. Lisa says I won't be able to go during the school year. Well, I will tell you what. If this one goes well, I'm going to be doing more. Also, if we get a lot of interest in a weekend, maybe I could extend it or do two, like one weekday, one weekend. Unfortunately, the rental prices on the weekends shoot up to the exact same location but they shoot up to crazy prices if you want a Friday or a Saturday. Okay, we've taken some of the pencil off so it's not so obvious. Just using a kneaded eraser. One of those ones that are fun to play with. Jill says, you've read my letter. I was obsessively thinking about it for three days straight before I wrote you. I've had about two months of obsessive thinking about it. Lennon says, most of all, I can't wait for pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice everything. I'm working on a recipe for spice cake for um, money drawing and love drawing. And I hope that that's something we can all make as a group at the retreat. Like I said, I'm going to try everything out first. And make sure that what I'm doing is reasonable because I get in my mind oh and we'll do this oh and I want to do this and maybe we can also have this and then I start thinking it's only three days calm down you've already over scheduled your days there's no human way that people could do this many crafts <laughs> I have to use a lot of water because my uh, paints are drying out so fast. I've chosen a really picturesque location though. I think we're going to have it in Big Bear, California.
And I think in October that will be a very good that'll be a very good time for the weather for it to be nice and cool. But before it starts snowing. Because no thank you. I know Big Bear is, is really popular during the um, the snowy times. People like to ski up there and do all the things. Lisa says, I'll hold you to that. I'm not kidding. Also, there are things called substitute teachers. Just saying. Just saying. I had a picture of a watercolor fox that I was going to cry, kind of copy, but I forgot. I forgot that I, I wanted to have that up on the screen to look at. Now I really quickly have to find that, <laughs> the one that I was looking at when I originally drew this. There he is. Little fox footies are black. Kelly says, it sounds like you need to make a friends with someone generous who has a cabin in the woods with some property to host. Well, I mean, I'm going to charge, I'm going to figure out the price of uh, how much it costs to rent the space and then work work from there to figure out how much it's going to cost to attend so i just i'll just build that in to the price so the chest is going to be white so, okay. And the feet are going to be a little darker. Hey, fourth born child. I'm sorry if I missed all of you guys, Amethyst. Amethyst asks, what kind of crafts are you thinking so far? Oh, so far, I'm thinking, well, we do a little bit of kitchen witchery. Thinking spicy, or maybe pumpkin spicy cake. I'm not sure how much people, how much time people would want to spend in the kitchen. It's going to be an art witch retreat but I also want to make sure that even if you don't feel like you have artistic ability that you can still do all of the things I don't think you're going to have to have art art abilities to do any of this I want to do some uh, junk journal style book of shadows pages maybe for some of the holidays Sawin and Yule and Embolk, maybe. Maybe four holidays. I 
I feel like junk journaling is really freestyle. You can't do it wrong. I want to do a little shadow, little shadow boxes that are Samhain themed. So like maybe black cats and skulls and owls and that kind of stuff. But everything will be, it'll have a tutorial. Nobody's going to have to draw anything or paint anything that you don't feel comfortable with. Everything will have a thing that you can copy if you don't want to do your own. And then if you feel like you're very artistic and want to do your own thing, then you can just go crazy and not follow the template at all and just do your own thing. So I feel like any level, any level of skill could could come to it. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I feel like uh, I need to step away from the fox and come back to him later. Lisa, we do not have substitute teachers where I am. We're short on regular teachers. That's right. Big teacher shortage across the country country says Maha that's right I forgot about that I feel like I want to make the crow not uh, super black because I want to maybe have black as maybe even black pen has some of his uh, feathers and that kind of thing. Gigi says, I'm just trying to get back into crafting and artwork. I've been designing for so many years that I'm burned out. Wendy says, I live relatively close to you. I live in Laguna Hills and I'm looking forward to any plans. So you could drive in to a Big Bear. I'm not sure where Laguna Hills is. Is it up in Orange County? Do you have like a two hour drive to Big Bear or around there? Definitely shorter than I would have down here. I think I have a three, I think I would have a three hour drive. Two, maybe two and a half, three, somewhere, depending on where traffic lands. Indigo highlights on the crow. I was thinking of, yeah, I was thinking of the, uh, I'm thinking of actually whoops sorry about the camera jiggle there actually thinking this is like a super deep aqua mica powder so I was thinking this would be a great uh, highlight on the crow feathers also you know there's this uh, silvery black as well hi green leaf We're just blocking in our basic colors here so far. I 
But yeah, I definitely want to make it non-artist friendly, even though it's called an art witch retreat. You do not have to be an artist to do it. I feel like a lot of my art witch content is a little off-putting to people who think they can't do it. They like to watch it, but they don't think they can do it. you can I don't want him to be too pale stop there and come back to him a little bit. Let's work on a pumpkin. Oh, let's have a sip of coffee. That would be even better. says, to be honest, last Sunday I bought two pairs of Halloween socks, also bought Halloween charms for necklaces, which I used a haunted house one and a ghost charm on a choker necklace, which I made. Nice. All the ha Halloween stuff is coming out into stores. We're getting there with this pumpkin. Stacy JC's here. Hi, Stacy. Jill Park says, just remember those of us with the property have limited accommodations. Boy, don't don't you know it? I swear I looked at well. I'm not going to get too hyperbolic, but a lot of properties. And the problem is, is there's how many people want to share a bedroom? Who would bring a friend that they would share with? And the question is, would you share a bedroom, but would you share a bed? Trying to find a place with enough rooms to get enough people in there to actually cover the cost of renting the place. That's the trick. But the thing is, is 
I'm, I live to plan stuff. I love planning is my favorite. That's why I'm such a new moon witch. I think the secret to watercolors is just keep going back and just do really small, minimal things first. Wendy says, just an idea. I've ordered a macrame dream catcher to use as a protective shield. Any craft, art, or spells would be welcome. I have an idea for, I don't want to give away too much, but I do have a, an idea for a protective Talisman craft. I think one craft or two crafts with yarn, and I think one is going to be very glue gun heavy, and then one that's going to be kind of gluing and painting. And then one that's just going to be painting because I want to do decorated pumpkins. Okay, that's perfect for the season. And then all the junk journaling, which would be really fun to, to actually be able to leave the, to leave the retreat with a book of shadows. I'm thinking um, three ring binder though, not a true junk journal that's like bound, because I love the idea of having a three ring binder as a book of shadows, because then you can move pages around and add things and subtract things. It's not so permanent. Okay, Mr. Squirrel, time to tackle Mr. Squirrel. Amethyst says, my book of shadows is a big giant binder. That way, if you forgot to put something in, you can add it. If you learn something new about a topic, you can just add a few new pages. <laughs> or 
maybe there's something that you thought was good, but then later on you start thinking about it and you don't really believe that anymore. You can remove it. Because people change their minds all the time. Or get interested in a new path. Want to start a new tradition. Ooh, I kind of like my squirrel tail. Green Leaf says, I don't feel ready for fall. Well, you know, I'm doing this really early. Maybon is not until the autumnal equinox next month. But I give out so many printables and I have so many things that have to go to the printer and then get mailed back to me so that I can mail them out to patrons. So I have to do everything really early. So don't worry, it's not it's not happening yet. I'm just going to dab in these leaves real quick because I'm mostly going to be using, I'm going to mostly be using these um, special micas for the leaves. So. I'm just going to real quickly pop in a few colors here and there. a little bit of red to my palette because I wanted to have some red um, mushrooms at the bottom so hopefully that'll pick up on those colors. Greenleaf says the kids are back in school where I am. Thumbs down. I say the kids are back in school where I am. Thumbs up. Because now I can go to the zoo. Today was actually the first day of school for a lot of kids in our area. But now I can go to the zoo. And there's not bus loads of summer vacation camp kids there. Silly kids trying to learn stuff and be educated. JJ says, I cannot wait for fall. My birthday is next month, just before May Bond, but my mother's is even closer.
you know, I know I have green in my palette, but I'm afraid to put green in. I was going to do some grass. And I was going to use green for the uh, stems here. A little concerned. Let's drink coffee and think about it. Greenleaf says, I instruct at the college level and I go back next week watching this relaxing art while I prep for classes. Thanks. You're so welcome. Oh, I see why you have the thumbs down because you have to go back. Lisa says, today was our first day back. Red Lorraine says, I've been trimming paper all day and Morgan keeps coming over for scraps to play with. I filled a box with them, but she want for her, but she wants each new scrap I cut. <laughs> Even my cat is a craft addict. <laughs> Maha also teaches at a college. We start on Monday. Lennon has to head out. Goodbye, Lennon. Have a good night. And Lisa says eighth grade because she likes to suffer. <laughs> and Maha is not ready. Nobody's ready. And Stacy says the kids where I am go back in September. Do you live somewhere very hot? Feel like I think it was the hotter states go back later or am I wrong is it the cooler states that go back later and the hotter states go back earlier I can't remember okay our tree is gonna be brown probably should have done this part with a marker I wonder if the kids know how unprepared the teachers feel. They probably have no idea. Scarlet Nymph says, we raised her from two days old. Oh, we're talking about the Morgan. Morgan. She was found in the trash, died, and was revived. So she's a fighter. So we named her after the Morgan. You know, I didn't know that about her.
So I had a friend ask me a question for a spell idea. And I wanted to throw it out to you guys because it was kind of an interesting thought. A thought experiment. So they said, I need some kind of spell to help with the fact that when I get money when when anything comes in like for example they could have a windfall of ten thousand dollars but then the very next day they would have a car repair bill for nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars so it's not so much bringing money in but keeping money or i don't know blocking bad money luck not exactly so much of just doing a prosperity spell it's the idea of there's some kind of bad luck happening around money all the time so I've been thinking on that and I wasn't sure if I was a money draw or a money keep or if it was some kind of other spell work that would that would work so I'm throwing it out to the to the collective if you guys have any suggestions Stacy says she lives in the New Forest in the UK. So is that, is that much cooler there, I think? Greenleaf says my son's building has no AC. He was hurting and we are in Colorado. Oh, Colorado's getting a heat wave. Is that, is that what's happening? And it rained there all day today in Evergreen. I have a friend who's visiting Evergreen right now. He said it rained. Maha says, we, we had a calico growing up. Her name was Sassy and I loved her so much. My calico's name was Nikita. She's been gone for a while. This says, oh, that's interesting. I also have a calico who was found in the trash as a kitten, super feisty, and she has asthma, but she's 12 now, and we love her so much. Oh. Red Lorraine says, oh my gosh, that same windfall slash emergency thing happens to me all the time. What if the existence of the emergency the emergency after the windfall is the actual result of a previous spell to always have what you need.
Okay, oh my goodness. The tree done? Can't tell. Jill says, sounds like an attraction problem, the expectation that something will take it away and it manifests. You know, because I know this person personally, hmm. They definitely have a bit of that personality. Maybe thinking that they're always kind of getting the bad end of the stick or people are out to get them. I don't know. I don't like to generalize because I don't, you know, no one ever really knows. Let's go back in on these pumpkins or maybe, yeah. Gotta level up these pumpkins. Maybe we do the green. I'm a little nervous about the green. I'm thinking about adding some orange because I don't know how green I want to go. A yellowy green, just a hint of look at that right in the green color. Stacy says, I have a dog that was rescued from a puppy farm. I've had him 10 years and he's still very guarded around his food. I can see that. Okay, let's do mushrooms. Yeah. I'm going to try and focus the camera. Sorry, jiggling so that when my hand goes in there, it doesn't unfocus it. Let's see if I can be a professional streamer today. After this, after my rocky start. Wendy says, I decided to make a spell for financial security. I had planned ahead. I had sources, but the spell taught me to avoid impulse buying. Totally unexpected, but it hit the nail on the head. So financial security is not always income. It's outgo.
my snail friend started too. Greenleaf says, I'm further south from Evergreen. Hey, ASMR. Good morning. 5 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Stacy says, we've had a heat wave over in the UK, and we had a lovely thunderstorm today, which has cleared the air a little bit, but it's still very warm and sticky. see if I can touch up those pumpkins a little bit and my my fox needs a little more Elena, hi. I know you're not late. Everybody has, we've just been hanging out painting.
Oh, Wendy. Oops. Condolences. Ooh, I'm having a deja vu right now. Oops, you can't see what I'm painting. There we go. Sorry about that. When I was just painting this portion down here and I was uh, thinking about, I was just having a thought and I, all of a sudden I realized I, I've done this before or I've, I've dreamed this before. I was having a really strong sense of deja vu right there. Elena says, did, did I see Josephine Wall stuff? Yes, I finally did. Thank you for reminding me in the comments on another video. Because <laughs> honestly, I feel like if I do a two hour stream, I have done a two hour spell. Um, it just takes all the energy I have. This is not Josephine Wall, at least I, I have to say it looks like her art. This is a journal I got uh, some time ago, but I haven't broken it out because it's too pretty and I'm afraid to write in it. This might be her art because when I looked it up online, it's called The Spirit of Flight by fantasy artist Josephine Wall. So they've cut it to put it on the cover. It's really a landscape or a horizontal. Goodness, we're getting there. It's starting to become something. But yeah, I haven't used that journal because it's just too pretty to write in. I really need to use it as just a daily journal. But look at the the end pages are like feathers, purple feathers. It's just regular rule. The edges are gold. I don't know if uh, my thoughts are important enough to uh, put in such a beautiful book.
One of the things I like about fall, even though we don't really have seasons where I live, is that we do get the produce. So we still get the squashes and the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff, even though we don't really see the seasons change here that much. Oh, Lisa says, my thoughts deserve a beautiful home. I just always, uh, it's funny. And I actually design journals on, that I, uh, that I sell on Amazon, but. Mine are very utilitarian. Put in the prompt and you write your answer and it, there's no gold edges or anything like that, so. I don't know, I just find it easier. Oh, I should put the brown in before I put the black. Oh, too late. I did it. Darn it. I'm supposed to go light to dark with watercolors, I forgot. Maybe I can fix it. I think maybe golden is what I wanted to go with here. Like that in, they call it Indian yellow. I can put the eyeballs in a little bit later once that dries. I think I might put the those in with the the marker.
Oh, Elena says I do her puzzles a lot. Yeah, I didn't realize she had puzzles. Red Lorraine says I squirreled away four, four to Furkies for the summer and just had one with all the root veggies. Hmm. Wendy says, I use journals for daily affirmation, affirmations, moon positions, tarot draw, record what I'm reading, something new I've learned, and chores I've done. I record my thoughts and ideas too. I do have a daily tarot draw one that I, I just recently made, and I'm kind of liking it. But I made it in a small format so that it would be easier to take with me when I wanted to go to the, um, I wanted to take my tarot deck and go out to the lake. But then I feel like if I had a larger version, I would write more and I would investigate more because I would have more space to write. So maybe I'll make it in the larger version too. I just have to reformat it and that takes some time so I haven't I've been putting that off Just gonna see uh Too glittery, not glittery enough. Let's let them dry and then decide.
think also so does gold. I think this is how I'm going to do the grass as well. I don't think it's going to be green. I think it's going to be this gold. I think we got a little bit of glimmer on all of them. So let's just let them dry and see. Hey, Southern Bell Rocks, beautiful painting. I can't wait to see it finished. Foxes, crows, ravens are special to my wife. And so this one just fills my heart with joy. Jill says, ever roast a beef stew inside a pumpkin in the fire? I'm going to try that out this fall. I have never tried that, but I did get a new cauldron last year that I have uh, a lot of stew recipes picked out for because the cauldron is a um, um, you know it's a kind of skillet the black kind I can't think of the word but it's in the shape of a pumpkin I live cast iron So I have a cast iron pumpkin cauldron that I cannot wait to make some stews in. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're 80% there. Let's keep going. The squirrel needs some help and these mushrooms aren't going to paint themselves.
feel like I went a little too dark on those ears. Before I make these into pen pal cards, I do take them take these pieces of art into Photoshop and fix up any of the uh, errors that I've made as much as I can. So if I do make a little mistake here and there, I don't worry about it too much. Because I know I've got one more chance. <laughs> There we go. Now the tail looks like it's curving around a little bit. Hey, I don't know if anybody has Hulu, but we've been watching a pretty fun little show on Hulu. It's called Only Murders in the Building. They're on season two, but they're kind of short, so it's really easy to binge season one and two and catch up pretty fast. But that's a recommendation for a fun little show. Especially if you like true crime or murder mysteries or comedy, it's all those things. I also decided to do a fox and pumpkins and mushrooms and a squirrel and snails for my uh, planner stickers this month for the September. So those, um, I've also done some watercolor of those individual little guys for my stickers. smaller paintbrush. Jill Park says, cast iron, don't make anything with acids in it like tomatoes. Is there some chemical reaction? I haven't used it yet. I'm excited though.
Inka Doodle says, my autumn baking always starts with gingerbread. It's such a wonderful old time recipe and so autumn -y with its spices and molasses. Maha says, you're all making me hungry. <laughs> We'd have one heck of an autumn feast we would. Well, maybe when we have, if we have the Art Witch retreat, would it be weird to just cook as a group? I was thinking it would be better to prepare food ahead of time and, and not make people cook. But it might be fun to cook together. I just, I don't know. I guess it depends on who decides to sign up and what kind of personality they have. I'm going to do a questionnaire. I think I'm settling on um, sending out everyone who's interested a questionnaire to find out what just their opinions on pretty much across the board, everything. Like, would you want to cook? Would you not want to cook? All that kind of stuff. Because a lot of people have food restrictions and um, allergies and that kind of stuff too. So it's really important to learn basically what everybody wants to eat at all times. <laughs> Baja says, I love fall kind, fall kind of food. I really want some goulash now with sourdough bread and red wine. Lisa wishes it felt like fall. <laughs> it's too hot for football, that's for sure. Greenleaf, you've watched the show. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, we got a second recommendation. Only murders in the building. It's a Hulu, um, so you have to have Hulu to watch it, but... If you've got Hulu, check it out. You get a real sense, Steve Martin and Martin Short have worked together for years, and you get a real sense of joy when watching them work together, because they just love each other. There's a real feeling, you get that feeling, it comes through.
Tinky Doodle says, I love to cook. I'm a cooking fool any time of year. Jill says, I suggest watching Cowboy Kent Rollins' channel with his cast iron tips and tricks playlist. Cast iron is more finicky than most people want to deal with. Inky Doodle says there's a Thai restaurant in my town that features pumpkin curry. It's seasonal and absolutely delicious. Jill says I think at least one meal can be cooked together and that would include prepping and cooking. Milton says should I make lasagna for dinner or a giant chicken sandwich? This, I ponder, and it does vex me. <laughs> well, I mean, lasagna would be 100% my choice. And now I want lasagna for dinner. Kitty is coming in and saying it's her dinner time, but it's not even... She's in here pestering me because it's close to dinner time. Hey, let's look at our leaves again. Oh, let's see, look at... Now that they've all dried, look at that. Look at the golden shimmer. Let me change my focus here. You can see the golden shimmer here at the grass. It's not quite dry, but you get the idea. And then these will shimmer when they dry too, because I just put shimmery brown on top. And that Inky Doodle says, I love to bake too, and in spite of the heat, summers when I try out my new autumn winter recipes, I have to bake at night because it's too hot. Jill says, I've worked in restaurants in my 20s. Your food goes through at least four people before it gets to you when it's fresh. Maha says, I just rewatched the Rosemary and Thyme series from the early 2000s. So cute. Gardener Solving Mysteries. Super British Cozy Mysteries. Oh, I've never heard of that show. Where is it? Where is it streaming right now? Hey, I got to choose lasagna for Milton. He's going for it. It's really nice when a show from 2000 still holds up 20 years later. Red Lorraine says, I'm not so good at cooking, but I do love cleaning up and prepping. I like prepping too. I feel like a mise en place is, is kind of a lost art. Oh, the whole series is on YouTube. Okay, cool. This is my art witchery, Milton. I've captured these animals. <laughs> I feel like it needs more contrast. Like it doesn't make 
quite have enough. Should I do outlines with black pen or is that just too much? I'm going to keep pushing the values. If you hear any um, grumbles and crying, that's my kitty cat. She wants early lunch, early dinner. She has no idea what live streaming is, but whatever it is, she's not into it. like I'm pushing the values but then I'm losing all my little details but Maybe more the gold, maybe like kind of mirror the gold or put some of the gold behind here as well. Just kind of have a little bit of a, a layer of shiny. It's winter time here and I can bake all day. It's the more food I bake, the less heating I have to pay. That almost feels like a rhyme. What do we think? More gold? or not. I think I think more gold. I do need a black pen that will work.
Okay, I think we're almost done. Just want to put a little bit more of that gold everywhere. Do you all remember the secret of Nim, that crow character who loved to steal shiny baubles? I love that cartoon, so classic. I remember there was one other question I wanted to ask you guys about the retreat. If I was to do movie nights, what would be some movies you guys would want to watch? I've picked out a few that are my favorites, but I, I'm sure there's more that I don't know about. But remember, it, it couldn't be a TV show because it would just be, that would be too much. I suppose it could be any movie that is around Halloween time. Okay. We have one vote for 
Mistress Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Oh, bye, Milton. Maha says, the love witch from like five years ago is pretty great. Old hammer horror, 60s, 60s, 60s style. Maha says, the Sigourney Weaver version of Snow White is fantastic from the late 90s. Young Frankenstein, and Jill also says The Nightmare Before Christmas. Sylvain says, Alo Kitsune, and Maha says, the 50s Disney Headless Horseman cartoon short, which I have never seen. The mushrooms are everything. Hi, wild forest witchery. The 50s Disney Headless Horseman cartoon short is 10 to 15 minutes, quite scary, and Bing Crosby sings the narrative. Ooh, I don't hate any of that. Oh, now it's half an hour, obviously. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm going to definitely look that one up. And it's called Disney's Headless Horseman. Okay. That is definitely something I need to get my hands on because I'm a huge Disney fan. I love me some Bing Crosby and I mean, and Halloween. It was part of the double feature, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Okay. Elena, Practical Magic is 100% going to get played at that Art Witch Retreat. 100%. In fact, I want to have Midnight Margaritas. Like the ants have, uh, they make their Midnight Margaritas song. The Lime and the Coconut. Oh, yeah. Let's see, we need little white dots for our mushrooms.
I just feel like our crow is not dark enough. Joe Parks says it's on YouTube. Okay, so you're talking about the um, the headless horseman. Sylvain is not a Disney fan. Jill and Red Lorraine definitely watch Practical Magic. It is so fun. It's got a little message about be careful about what you wish for and the magic that you do. You guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I definitely got to add a little contrast and a few more details, but I feel like for as far as the stream goes, I feel like this is a good place to stop. And do not forget that um, I have a code for um, a discount on uh, Scarlet Nymph palettes in the description not sponsored just a, a dear friend this is the Maybon palette and this is the uh, Lamas palette sorry Litha this is the Litha palette so check those out at the link in the description you guys and if you're a patron, you will see how this finally came out in the very end because I will be making this a, a printable greeting card. And if you are a pen pal patron, I will be sending this to the printer and it will come to you as a pen pal card. And I hope you will join me next month in September on the first Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific for the next Art Witch Wednesday. And everybody, your, your homework before then is to watch Practical Magic because it's such a fun movie. Thank you guys for joining me and have a great night.